yeah a very welcome back to you we want to continue from where we stopped in this ms publisher tutorial um yeah so this is where we stopped and if we look at our reference um we want to go ahead and finish up with the remaining shapes that are in this work so you can see that we need to insert the shadow behind the shapes okay we also need to insert this um red rectangular stuff this blue shape here and the lines okay so let's just go ahead and quickly do that now so going back to our work we want to insert the shadow behind these gradient shapes so let's start with this one left click on it okay hold down control and tap c on your keyboard to copy hold down control and tap v to paste okay that's the shortcut to copy and paste okay now um after doing this you see the duplicate will be created now make sure you're highlighted on it go to format go to shape fill and change it to something like dark blue like this dark blue hyperlink rgb darker 50 percent left click on it then just move it here we want it to show up here a bit just left click and hold your mouse and drag it a bit let it just show above a bit then come to this place and resize it resize it down a bit you can come here and just drag it come to this node down here and drag it down a bit like this okay let's drag it down a bit more now you can see that it's on top the gradient shape but we can order it to be behind it so make sure you are still selected on it right click on your mouse okay and go to order then choose send backward okay left click on it it looks like nothing happens but it's sending it backward once in one you know one step at a time right click on it again go to order send backward and you can see what just happened you see so it has sent it backwards okay now having done this let's also copy this same shape um control c control v okay copy it like this bring it out then go to make sure you are in the format option and you are selected go to this rotate option left click down and choose flip horizontal it will flip it this other way then just move it to this place okay position it a bit above just like we did for the last one and you know you know adjust it accordingly then right click go to order go to send backward right click again go to order go to send backward right click again go to order go to send backward and you see what it has done okay so this is for adding the um, shadow behind the shape now if you look at our reference there's also a bit of shadow like there's a lighter shadow you know under the shape so that's what we want to add now so go to your uh, publisher your work now this time left click an empty place then come and left click on this gradient shape here okay go to shape effect go to shadow go to shadow options left click on it and the distance okay no now come to this place preset left click choose this one that has the shadow down here left click on that one then come and change the distance to something like seven and press okay and you can see the shadow you just put there okay let's repeat the same process for this second one go to shape effects just the same process okay
just the same process. And you can see that we've added the um, shadow. Now, the next thing we want to add is this shape here that is usually in certificate. So go to insert menu by left clicking on it. Go to shape, left click on shapes. Now come and choose what's the shape we're looking for. Yes, we're looking for this one that says 32, I believe. Under stars and banners. So go and left click on 32. Left click and just drag a bit like this. Okay. Till it shows something like this. Okay. Now left click and position it down a bit more. Let's centralize it well. Okay. Having done this, make sure you are still selected on the shape. Go to shape view and choose the color that, that matches this one. I think it's this. Yes. Then go to shape outline and choose no outline. And you can see this beautiful work we've just done now. All right. So that's for that. Um, the next thing we want to do is um, insert the lines, okay, which is very simple. So just go to insert, go to shapes, choose this line one, this third one here that is recently used shapes, or you can come on that line, just choose this one, the first one. Just left click and drag, make sure it's straight. Is very straight, it's not breaking. Okay, release your hand. Okay, then you don't need to do this. You, you all you need to do is copy and paste. You are selected on the line now. Okay, these nodes that are showing show that you are selected on the line. Just hold down control on your keyboard, tap C. Hold down control on your keyboard, tap D. Then left click and drag it and just position it here. Okay, so do you see that? So that's for the lines, all right? Then fin finally, or about finally, around that, you know, yeah, we want to insert this red um, line, okay? So just go ahead, go to insert, go to shapes, go to rectangle, just draw a rectangle like this. Drag it like this. Okay. Let it just be around like this. Okay. Now I can see that it's filled up the, the shape, but we'll change it now. Go to shape fill, choose no fill, go to shape outline, choose a red outline. Okay. Then we need to start ordering it. So right click, go to um, right click. In between okay no go to the edge of the shape okay left click on the edge of the shape right click then okay the order is not showing up yet okay the order is not showing up yet Maybe we'll put these ones in front of them, but for now, the order is not showing. I don't want to make this video too long. We'll stop here for now. At least we've inserted all the shapes. It's just to order it. In the next video,